I have been lucky, lucky in those who were around me from the boardroom to the dressing room. In times of stress, their unstinted support, unbroken devotion to our club, and calmness in adversity eased the task of making Rangers Football Club the premier club in this country. To be a Ranger is to sense the sacred trust of upholding all that such a name means in this shrine of football. They must be true in their conception of what the Ibrox tradition seeks from them. No true Ranger has ever failed in the tradition set here. A very success, gained you will agree by skill, will draw more people than ever to see it, and that will benefit many more clubs than Rangers. Let the others come after us. We welcome the cheese. It is healthy for us. We will never hide from it. Never fear. Inevitably, we shall have our years of failure, and when they arrive, we must reveal tolerance and sanity. No matter the days of anxiety that come our way, we shall emerge stronger because of the trials to be overcome. That has been the philosophy of the Rangers since the days of the gallant pioneers. Hi guys, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 3 of Rebuilding Rangers. And boy, it's been fun. Since... The last was with me. We went on to beat St Johnson, Alan, or is on despite being Alan, despite being very unhappy apart from not getting picked for the Champions League. He is he, he's putting in the shift, so I can't complain. Morales came back, Herrera and Thorns all scored in a demolition, an absolute demolition job. Then we went on to CSK Moscow for Jason Holt banged one in and then Nacho scored a own goal. There wasn't much to it. We kind of just stopped playing after that to be quite honest. Went on then to beat Hearts, Greg Kilty, Danny Wilson, Allen again and Matthew Knox. Rotated side in some areas. All putting in the performances again. Jimmy Barjanas is providing good cover and we've just beaten Aberdeen in an absolute thrilling game. I've just played it. It was... Well, kind of well, Ryan Jack I had to score against his old club. Obviously, he didn't celebrate. Pardozo then on an absolute disgusting tackle. Uh, I've ruled him out of this game and I'll probably for him for the rest of the season if SFA get their way. But then they came back, obviously, in the 15th and we went on to score. Then they scored and then Josh Windass in the 80th minute rifled one in. So today we have Ross County and the biggest game we've ever played against Paris Saint-Germain. So let's get into it. Oh, Matthew, Matthias Delet and partly Partey not registered. Ooh. Go on. Have Cavani injured, Neymar injured, Rabiot injured, Thiago Silva injured, my god, whoever else you've got. Anyway, this is the team for the Dingwall team. They've got Ryan Dow up front with Hippolyte, Chow, Draper, Adelkin, Delem, as a kind of midfield five with Miller, Andreas Kavuskovic, uh, uh, Andrew Davis, Naismith, and Fox and Goal. For us, as Morales and Herrera continue a partnership up front. Between them, already at six for at six goals and six appearances and six assists for Alfredo Morales. And for Herrera, it's 12 goals and 14 with three assists, so they're banging them in still already. Graham Dorns comes in at attacking midfielder with Allen. Again, four appearances, two goals, three assists. Can't complain despite him being unhappy. But it hasn't affected the rest of the team. Greg Kelty comes back in again for the rest of Candace, who's on the bench. He's waded in with a couple of goals and a few assists. Nielsen, again, starting again, yet to score, but it's fine. Wallace, Danny Wilson, Bruno Alves, and Tavenier. Wilson comes in for the suspended Cardoso and just swapped them over. Tavenier also in for Anderson with Almwick continuing until he. Well, you know, drops his concern of football and for us on the bench is Fodringham, Anderson Holt, Strand Larson, Jack, Candias Windass and on the bench for uh, Ross County is McKerney, Kelly, Jardine, Mickelson, Mackay, no that Mackay, O'Brien and Bordinger. Let's get into it. Again, yeah. Like, they don't like my assistant manager taking the team talk, so like, okay, whatever you say. And then the minute I roll through, they're like, yeah. Yeah, let's get this done. 
Um, and it's also been confirmed you don't need to do the end talk, it just gives you the reaction of all overall of what they'll do for you. No concerns, uh, I'm probably have a squad of fantastic depth, uh, I'm focusing on what we can do rather than themselves. Oh, don't need the sound. For some reason my TV and computer keep breaking the sound in this. It comes on then it goes away. Starting to play our way into the game. Oh, it's the kind of two minutes in. But oh, Davis and Chow both injured, and Dow's looking nervous already. That's awesome. Okay, something's just went down. I'm guessing there's a foul in there. So didn't appreciate it. Maybe. Alan, good cross with the ball. It has to be said. Dalham's there. Or Dalem. Nielsen. Back out to Alan, who really can seem to play on both sides. He's cut inside. Back to Nielsen. We're working as well. Looking for the space, Draper's come through, a great tackle, but it's only found Herrera, recycles the possession well, back to Nielsen. He's going to go for it, out to Wallace, We're kind of getting pegged back a bit here, we're not putting on so much pressure, Nielsen through, Dorans, that's better to Herrera. Can he find someone, he finds Morales, and Morales finds the back of the net with a delicate header. 1-0 to the good. And also, yeah, we're now officially, as this game goes on, unbeaten in seven so far. We literally have not dropped a point this season. Unlike poor old St Mirren, who have yet to even pick up a point. They came close a couple of times so far. I think it was 2-1 against Hibernian and 1-0, both losses. And a 1-0 loss to Aberdeen, who are struggling this season in the league. Well... Our new contenders at the moment seem to be Hibernian. But it's obviously still the two legged race at the moment. And we also got a ridiculous transfer budget. I was just trying to get enough to volley up the wage budget because we were hemorrhaging a little bit of money. So we were all in the balance and boom, they gave me a 17 million pound transfer budget. So I just brought in trying to get a couple of youngsters. I said, Eduardo Herrera. Then goes to Morales saying, You can do it, I can do better. As he rifles in another one. That's my chance. It's just Alex Allen again. Brought him in just as cover for Josh Windass, but he's taking Josh Windass's place. Allen has a big, big, strong header from him. And he's put that in with absolute willpower and purpose. And now they're starting to look frustrated. I wonder if they're going to start playing into this game. I don't take too much of what the AI manager say or is scripted for him to say but he said oh we're going to press the procession hungry Rangers <laughs> doesn't really matter to us press us, press us if you want we're just going to keep on banging in goals or pretty much what I what I try to do is set out not to be so much well 2p possession hungry is going to smashes the post but also to outscore and that's why I don't really have a midfield as such like I have attacking players, two wingers in my midfield, and I've got pretty much five defenders on the pitch. Is because I rely on my attackers, my front three plus my wingers, to kind of all combine as one to help us outscore. And I always try to build a defence that's good enough to defend and not concede too many goals. That's always been my way of thinking, is if I outscore my opponents, then... I have nothing to fear at the back. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the way of it, really. For me, is I outscore my opponents. Okay. There we go. Ready to walk through walls. Just didn't get injured, lads, eh? Nielsen to Wilson. Dorns. I've also there's backups for Wilson who thinks maybe not just good enough for this team anymore. Um was a boy that you probably recognised if I had managed to get him in Lucanio or Lucio or Luciano from Brazil. Did try to get him in, unfortunately he was been given he wouldn't have been given a work permit, he would just sat around the club hemorrhaging us eight grand a week. Um, but um I did get a couple in from FC Mutualand in Denmark. They're coming in January. We'll, we'll speak about them later and when near the time. One's a defender and one's a hot prospect. Just to shore up our under 20s because we're taking players in and out of there constantly. Or Zach Ruddens 
there and thereabouts. Uh, he could play games effectively. He needs to start producing more in games for me to start him. But then you've got players like Jamie Borjanis, who's coming through, and oh, Morales is through for sorry three. Fredo Morales is we're just banging goals in for fun now. There's not what we can do. We're, we're sticking. We're making it prayerlessly close to what we are running away with the league this season by the looks of things. We've we've decided early on, the players have decided early on, that's it. <laughs> we ain't stopping. We won that league by a point. We're winning this league by a country mile this season. No, we've still got to play Celtic, so all, all could change in them games. Hope not, because we did manage to beat them lost to them twice but managed to beat them twice, so it's an evil even keel again as Kilty comes forward. That's a long searching ball to Herrera, that's four. Oh my days. Again, we have just smashed teams. Struggle, I think, because of the red card against Aberdeen. But, as you've seen, 5-0 against Aberdeen and the 4-1 against Hearts. We are smashing teams this season. There's no just last-ditch goals that we've seen us do before. We are absolutely hammering teams. Two seconds, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Someone come in. <coughs> No, we are looking good. Is there going to be a fifth? Chow's gone. Chow has gone in the 60th. I'm not making any changes. I don't think I need to. In fact, I might. Depends who's on what. Nah, I can't take them off. Um, we will make a substitute, though. Uh, but I don't have any other defenders on, do I? No. Right. Everyone's having a good game, though, apart from Graham Dorn, so we'll take Dorn's off just for Holt. I'm not wanting to upset the two at the front, they're both on hat tricks. So it's just a just fresh leg change. And it's looking very complacent, but hey ho. We're fine with that. More super got injured, that was a. I don't know. But we've just dominated them again. I don't, I don't expect another highlight now. I don't need to make. Oh, there is one. Whole. Bruno Alves. Oh! Unlucky from Big Bruno. Now Mac is looking for his replacement. There won't be many left or like Bruno Alves. Keep him until he retires maybe. Because he is actually a solid defender at now 55. As Dow comes forward, we haven't got many. Nielsen, ooh, doesn't get to him. Jardine. Yeah, well, all of it. That's another 4 0 thrashing. For everyone, yes. Ah, I was expecting a, a more of a boyish mood there. Anyway, as you can see, we now we've got Paris Saint Germain, our biggest test yet. So, guys, I'll see you for that game. Hi guys, and we're back for the Paris Saint-Germain game, and as you can tell, it's, uh, we've gone contain. I am going contain, contain, contain on this, at least for a little while. Uh, for our team, it's pretty much uh, our standard team. Morales Herrera up front with Dorans and behind them, Windass and Candace on the wings with Ross Ort coming back from injury, starting in the defensive midfielder role with Miguel, Bruno Alves, Cardoso and Anderson. Playing as a back four with Fodringham in goal with Alwick Wilson, Kilty, Strand Larson, Tavernier, Jack, and Holt. I fully expect to get absolutely hammered. But we have to take into the solace the fact that our under 20s team and the under 20s Champions League have beaten the Paris Saint Germain under 20s. So <laughs> we'll run through the Paris Saint Germain team, shall we? Up front, they have Edison Curvani with Neymar and Mbappe playing just behind them with Rabio, Verratti and Pereira, or Pereira as a midfield three with Grimaldo, Marquise, Kretschovic, Danny Alves as defence as a defence and Arloa, Arloa in goals. He's conceded four and six so he's not having the best but Curvani has scored seven and eight. Neymar has scored none and Mbappe has scored four. Yeah, I fully intend 
to have our asses handed to us and I do use the word asses there because it is I'm not expecting a lot but I've got to go out there and make it look like we're in this fight he's just being arrested obviously so they're playing in the yellow we're playing in the blue and white it's ready it's a good start in the first six seconds of the game we've got a throw in and we've had some possession I would take a draw it's so dramatic Sky Sports have got in in this but they have got a tired team wow they haven't rested their players uh, to be fair we haven't rested our front three but they're in better condition and right now we are all over them they've had a shot more than us but we've got more possession uh, contain, uh, contain is just to frustrate them really and then you just start smashing them the more tired they get compared to us the better yes I know our midfield is because we don't have a midfield oh, uh, they are rifling in the shots now but they're, by the looks of it, they're all long range. Yeah, that one wasn't. But they're all missing. Wait for a shot. For a shot, people. Miguel's head of the ball. Only as far as Danny Alves. This is a goal. This is a goal. Yeah, Cavani's through. Uh, he's taking it out wide. And it's a goal. But no, always. There's a goal coming. There's a goal coming. Ah, uh, no. No, Miguel. Somehow, Verratti, Miguel. Windows, clear it, clear it, just put it, clear it, he's passed it to Morales. Oh, somehow, somehow we've survived. Oh, we managed to pass the ball around, I am liking it. He's starting to spray that wide, oh, Kandias, what have you done? Oh, Daniel Kandias, it was like he was stuck in treacle. Cavani's through, uh, it was coming. Oh my days, it was coming. Daniel Kindias was seriously at fault for that when he heads it and then he just doesn't get to it and Grimaldo's all over to Neymar no one really picks him up no one goes near him 1-0 Paris Saint-Germain ouch that one hurt a little bit considering we were in this game we haven't even had a shot yet we could actually go the whole game without having a shot but I'll take 1-0 going into half time yes Maybe. It's 8-4. They're starting to... They're really putting it on. But our defence is holding strong. Giving away one goal. was a mistake. And Diaz is going to have to work the rest of the game to give it up. That ball's gone all the way to Miguel, who is in no rush, apparently. No rush whatsoever to try and get that one back up the field. And down to Herrera. We're not going to get very far in the other defence. We're not going to even have a go at them because Neymar's just in the run to Cavani it's 2-0 because Neymar's about to score it Neymar's through yeah 2-0 it was always going to be though this was always going to be and it'll be the same against Atletico Madrid it's always was going to be something we were never going to get much and Neymar's pretty much yeah Ross gets dragged way out of position the defence falls back no one comes out to him Bruno Alves doesn't see it coming he just dropped the shoulder too easy, that was very easy for them. Two before half time isn't bad, so we've got nothing to lose at this present moment in time. We may as well go for it. They're starting to pile on the pressure now, but they're starting to tire. They are tired. They've got players like Maria, uh, Angel Di Maria on the bench and that, so right now CSK is kind of doing us a favour. So. I'll just get the assistant that one. We will um, change it up. Let's just go attacking. Go to what we know. Contain's not working for us. Time, in the good old Scottish sayings, it's time to set about them. Now they're starting to tire out. We're having to. Anderson, he's done. Oh, come on. There's nothing in that. Referee, have a word with yourself. It's alright Wes, didn't he look nervous? Calm down son. They're tired. They've just been better, but for a shot, now we're ready put we've thrown the we've th thrown the warning shot across the bow. If we can get into this because we know how to attack. It was a kind of a risky move to 
come out on contain and defensive, but it was to give us a bit of a chance. Cavani makes it 3 0. He hasn't. Gee, okay, this week's lottery numbers aren't what I thought they were. But yeah. We're looking we're looking motivated and fired up. We're already Miguel Miguel's been our best player. They are tiring though. And that's what we want. We've got two shots now. Hey, we've registered two shots. It isn't going to be enough though. But with CSK Moscow and that uh, can still uh, it's three. He's missed again. Angel Di Maria's on for and Bappi. They've just added a little bit more pace, but our defence is tiring out more than ours is. Can we just please do something here? There's not a lot we're going to be able to do. Let's try and give them something else to think about. Let's throw in all three subs and pray. Caught that. Give, chance, give us a chance to get our subs on. And it kind of cancelled it out. We've had three shots. <laughs> Neymar's shattered out there. Come on. I would take a goal right about now. The fact is that Atletico Madrid and CSK Moscow are still drawing. Keeps us in the tie. Herrera, just run with it. Because you're going to outtire them, you're going to outpace them, surely. Morales, it's 2-1! There's time, the comeback sword, lads! That is what I am talking about. I don't care if we now lose, the fact is that we have scored a goal against Paris Saint-Germain, one of the best teams in the world. I a, I've got a formidable strike force, and they've only taken two goals off us. Wow, if we can do this again, exact same thing, Morales, just bang in the goal, son. Good job, we have minutes match and the gate has release clause, everything. Now we're looking, now they're looking nervous at the back. All of a sudden, all that pressure they had in that first half is starting to tire them out. Greg Kilty, oh my days. Unfortunately, offside from Josh Windass. But wow, see, I thought Madrid have just taken the lead. A point helps us here. A point keeps us in second, I'm guessing. And they put on Guedes. Nothing's coming now. It's been unlucky. And I will tell the boys that they have been very unlucky. The fact is that we came back into this game and we're not done. Morales is through. Morales. Oh, it's just wide of the post. Cardoso is not happy. Oh, it's unlucky, lads. That has been a very good game. I was expecting an absolute thrashing. It just wasn't to be that we were very unlucky. Nice to get the win, it just wasn't to be. It was unlucky. I couldn't say much more than that. We frustrated them and frustrated them and frustrated them. Cadeus, Cadeus' mistake led to a goal. Neymar was just near the receiving end of the other one. Right, you've got to keep morale high. Jairz are defeated. You see that, yeah. It should have been 1-1 if it wasn't for Kindias. fact is that Morales scored a goal against them. Is outstanding. He's out for a couple of days. So, we will look at the next week, uh, next episode's fixtures. Yeah. Two, two players I thought might have given us a bit of a chance later on. <coughs> Yeah, so it's been unlucky, but we will come back for the Aberdeen Celtic game. No, we won't. We'll come back for the Atletico Hearts game <laughs> when we're either going to be in the final or not. It's the same as last season, it's a uh, cup final or bust. Um, and we'll come back for Atletico Madrid. So, yeah, dismal season is getting compounded for Aberdeen against us, but we have a little bit of time. Just a little, little bit extra time. So you'll see these are the two players that come in from Michelin. Relatively small fees compared to the transfer budget we do have. Uh, clauses. Do we buy and sell? Can we sell these Lee Hodges? <laughs> There's five of them. I can only sell two of them. Um, 
apparently we're still paying them for another season, but it's only 475 quid. Fine. Uh, yeah, we've still got clauses to come in. Because apparently we've got two, yeah, 250. And it was for, yeah, that, that one I was saying, I can remember it came from, that's only for each. I kind of put the mo there's no timeline on it, so he could be gone, but I think we would still have to pay it. Um, we've got sell on clause there, sell on clause, wage contribution for another two seasons. It's nothing really. We've got three clauses waiting for Barry Mackay. Unfortunately, I doubt that one's going to come through. That one might. Lewis McLeod, yeah, if he ever gets sold. I was actually thinking of bringing him in, to be quite honest, because he's fairly good. Um, yeah. So guys, until the Atletico Madrid game, I love yous and leave yous, until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll catch you guys later, just bye for now.